everyone welcome to another video my name is Sanjay Prakash and today in this video we will see another important power FX usage in canvas apps right let us take a scenario right we are in sales of currently right if you see here this is my active contact view right for example let me deactivate two of my contacts this is one contact which is having no email uh, which is having an email ID and this is another contact which is having no email id for some reason i want to deactivate this too right i'm just recreating the scenario so that you can understand more now this is the active contact view these are the contacts that is available in my dataverse in my dynamics 365 which are active and if i'll go to inactive contact i have two inactive contacts with me for some reason i want to activate these contacts with some conditional options right in bulk right so how can we do that in canvas apps right so this is the important power fx that we normally use in our projects uh, in power apps projects that's why this is very very important you have to understand properly this requires this change and this uh, requirement the solution for this requirement uh, can be done using three power fx one is with another is for all another is patch function these three functions are more powerful when we combine all of this in one logical statement so i have taken a button here in, in the buttons on select command on select property i have written this power fx i have used with function so that i can define a variable of my choice and i can filter the records that i want to read as because i want to activate all the inactive contacts using with function i have defined a variable inactive contacts and i'm defining a filter condition to filter all contacts from my data source whose status is inactive right you can see here inactive contacts filtering contacts whose status is inactive now the first parameter of the width power fx contains a variable called as inactive contacts which filters all the contacts whose status is inactive and the next parameter of the width function what i am doing i am using a for loop in canvas apps for all power fx is used to loop through a list of records I have a list of records here inactive contacts which is reading all the inactive uh, contacts from my dataverse right now if i use if i will use for all then i can loop through this variable that is defined in the first parameter of the with function that is inactive contacts so for all inactive contacts that is captured in the first parameter i want to update the status as active so to update or create records directly to the data source i can use page function that's why page function function is more powerful and important so page function requires three parameters first is the data source you want to update and second parameter is the uh, sorry this is first is the data source second one is the record which record you want to update this record is looping through this for all function right and this page function will loop through all the records that is available in the inactive contacts record list variable so one by one inactive contacts will be picked up and it will try to use page function to update this record this record means the corresponding record that is iterated through this list inactive contacts so page function will update the records one by one and it updates the status as active you can see here if you want to update some other fields also you can click on comma and add your corresponding values right i'm just updating status that's why the status will be updated now you can see here whenever someone click this button what it will do it will immediately retrieve all the inactive contacts keep it in the variable and it will loop through all the inactive contacts and update its status without any control i can 
taken I, I can just take a button and do this functionality right let us test this I'll go here I have already deactivated two contacts uh, for replication so I want to make these two contacts active through my canvas app I have written my canvas app powerfx using with function with this variable loop through all this variable list list variable of the inactive contacts and update status is active you can see here this is active and this is reading inactive now let us run this now click on this now when i will click this when i click this automatically the record is retrieved and updated the status if i'll go here and try to refresh you will see all the inactive contacts are activated now if i'll go to active contacts i can see my records here right this is one record and this is second record now this both records were inactive last time right so you understand how these three combination of these three functions with for all and patch function is more powerful when it we combine three things in one go right let us add some more functionality let's say i am deactivating this two deactivating and when i have deactivated if i'll go to inactive contacts you will see this is one record which is having no email id let me add a email column so that i can identify now i have added email id now these two are inactive contacts in my dataverse or in my dynamics one is having an email id another is not having an email id so my requirement only activate those inactive contacts where email id is available right now for this requirement i have to change my formula right first i am reading the filter contacts status is inactive to this variable but as because i want to add another uh, condition that where email id is available right then only activate that record if there is no email id do not activate that inactive contact so i'll add another parameter another condition here and i'll add and email not equal to blank can you see that now this condition will add another condition in addition to the inactive status so now when I'll run this button, run this formula by clicking this button, what it will do? It will filter or retrieve all those contacts whose status is inactive plus email is not blank. That means there should be some email ID. Then only it will reactivate all those contacts. Right? Now let us test this. Click on this. Now it is running marching dots. You can see here now it is completed now i'll go here you can see here i have not refreshed this view now if i'll refresh this view what will what i am expecting this top record which is having an email id is activated but the second one is still remain inactive let us refresh this can you see that the record the inactive contact record which is having a email id is reactivated or moved to active contact view and this is still remain in the inactive contacts right so that's why it is more powerful when you use filter patch function for all and with all these things are very very important to use it in your real time projects so if you have any requirement of this type of uh, bulk uh, updation or bulk creation you can also do this right so thank you for watching this video i hope it will help you in your project Please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed. I will come with more videos in next days. Thank you guys. Cheers.